folks, it's Stanky Framps here with a wacky sound education. Why wacky, you ask? Here's what it looked like before I did wacky. So, definition, I assume you're joining, joining an audio tech team for live sound performance. So let's talk a little, a little bit about that. Who was that guy in the red shirt? Boring! You are now part of the sound tech team and you need some vital information to do your job well. We are talking about live sound reinforcement. We're not talking about recording. You only got one chance to get it as good a quality as possible. There's an audience there. There's a performer there. It happens live. That's it. You either did well or not. What do I mean by well? Well, funny you should ask. Clarity quality. If you want to if it, that would be clarity and quality of sound. Sound reinforcement means you just add enough so people can hear clearly. You don't blast them with the speakers and make it so loud it's like, whoa. You just want to make sure people can hear clearly. Today we're talking about two different aspects. There's technical aspects and there are non-technical aspects. Let me tell you about the technical aspects first three things that we want to talk about. First are what are the components that make up a live reinforcement sound system? In addition to knowing what the components are, you need to know how to hook them all up so that you can put it together and make it all work. And knowing what the components are will help you also understanding how to troubleshoot if you got problems. A second technical aspect is the scariest part of all. Dials and knobs. What are all those dials and knobs? I often run into new audio people who are like, I'm scared of the dials and knobs. Don't touch anything. I might mess something up. All the while, there's unclarity and poor quality coming out of the sound system, but they don't want to mess with it because it might get worse. A lot of times it couldn't get worse. Got to be able to mix those dials and knobs to improve your sound quality. A third technical aspect is, once you understand what those dials and knobs do, how do you do it? Just because you know that this knob does a particular thing doesn't mean you understand how to turn the dials and knobs to get the best quality of sound and clarity that you can get out of the system. That's the third aspect. We get into the details of those technical components in future lessons. But first, let me talk about the non-technical aspects. To begin with, the reason we are using this sound system in the settings we're using them is all for God's glory. It's totally for God's glory. If you can remember that, then you will do well. And the second piece of the non-technical aspects, in order to do this job, you've got to have a servant's heart. A servant's heart. Can't say that enough. I will take someone on my tech team any day who has a good servant's heart over someone who thinks they know how to mix sound and they know the technical aspects. You are part of this team totally to serve the audience and to serve the speakers and the band members. The third aspect is that those people on stage, whether it's just a speaker standing there in front of a podium or it's a live band that's performing, they need moral support. You are there during their practice. You're there during the actual live performance. There is nothing that really helps a performer more than to look back at the sound guy and the sound guy's going, yeah, you're nailing it, or okay, you're sounding good. They can really use that moral support. Do that for them. That is another piece of being a servant and being part of the audio tech team. And that completes lesson number one. This is Stanky Framps with a wacky sound education. Join us next time.